If you're looking for info about topping, then you're in the right place. Welcome to Higher Education, a channel brought to you by the chemistry and grow teams over at TPS Nutrients. This episode is all about topping, so stay tuned for tips and tricks about one of the best high-stress training techniques out there. Cannabis is a strong plant and can grow without much help, but if you follow some best practices, your plants can really shine. Over the years, growers have refined several techniques to not just grow cannabis, but to significantly increase quality and yields. Topping is one of the best practices to help increase the number of colas, maximize harvests, and even out your canopy. Topping is simply cutting off the top of the main stem of a cannabis plant. Before topping, the plant energy and hormones are directed in one channel to the top of the plant. After topping is when the magic happens. The growth hormones are redistributed from the main stem to all the other node sites with auxiliary buds, which will be competing for growth. This is what makes the plant grow wider rather than taller. Wider means more colas, more even colas, and almost always a bigger harvest at the end of the grow. A bit of a warning, remember that topping is a form of high stress training. Stay tuned to hear more details about mitigating this stress a little later on. Before we jump into topping, let's talk quickly about nodes. A node is the part of a stem where a branch or leaf emerges, like these two here. When cannabis plants are young, they are almost always symmetrical in their node pattern, which makes counting node sites easy. In these two node sites, you can see the bulge of the nodes, the fan leaf stems, and the auxiliary buds. These little buds can become new branches capable of producing other branches and buds. Stay tuned later in the video to see how these can grow. Your plants are ready for their first topping when you see six to eight node sites that have all produced fan leaves and your plants are six to 10 inches tall. Supplies for this are really simple. Grab a clean pair of your favorite pruning scissors. Now it's time to count nodes to find where we should top the plant. We typically don't count the nodes by the cotyledons or the first stems with the single leaves as they can be weaker and can grow slower. We only count the nodes with visible auxiliary buds. Now we count eight nodes from the bottom to the top. These are the first two, second two, third two nodes, and this is the fourth set of symmetrical nodes. This is the spot where we top, which is right above the fourth set. And here's a closer view of exactly where we're going to cut. And now we cut the stem cleanly. And it's as simple as that. We have just successfully topped this plant. This will redistribute the plant's growth energy, hormones, water, and minerals to all the other stems on the plant. Let's look at a couple other examples. First, we count eight node sites, so here's one and two, three and four, five and six, and here's seven and eight. Then top right above the seventh and eighth nodes. And that's it for that one, nice and simple. Also, you can see that topping allows really nice light penetration to the lower leaves and bud sites of the plant, which were previously blocked by the upper growth. Topping can also be done more than once in a plant's life. Later on, you may need to top again and also do some low stress training to achieve an even canopy. We're planning an episode on low stress training, so keep an eye out. Now let's talk about ways to mitigate stress from topping. First off, we always recommend foliar feeding with something like TPS Nutrients Canopy Boost directly after topping. We're following the easy instructions on the eight ounce spray bottle, which says add one milliliter for a small veg plant. After filling up the spray bottle with water, we add one mil of Canopy Boost. Close up the cap and make sure to give it a good shake. Spray a few times away from the plant to get the nutrients running through the system and then spray away. When you foliar feed, it's most beneficial to spray both the tops and bottoms of the leaves. Canopy Boost will increase photosynthesis and support vigorous canopy growth. It can also help with natural hormone distribution between the leaves and the roots. In addition to foliar spraying, it's important to monitor temperature, humidity, and lighting conditions to make sure your plants are as comfortable as possible. In terms of watering, keep a close eye on soil moisture levels. Be extra careful not to overwater, but a full feeding is great if the timing is right. We noticed that the soil is ready for some water, so we're gonna do a full feeding with the TPS component series. We'll check back in a few days to show the progress. It's been three days since we topped and we can see incredible growth at every node site. 
In just three days, the node sites went from looking like this to looking like this. The lowest node sites are already sprouting full fan leaves on some plants, and we're seeing incredible growth on the upper nodes as well. These plants were getting slightly stretchy, so topping has helped them slow down their upward growth to focus on growing wider. And this is where the fun really starts. This is a full seven days after topping, and look at this progress. Every node site is growing new fan leaves incredibly fast, and the stems are also showing a huge increase in strength and size. Look at this comparison, and this is just in one week. And this is the site where we originally topped. We can't wait to see what these plants do next. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you have any other tips and tricks about topping, please feel free to mention them in the comments below. Be sure to check out our other videos on various training techniques to make sure you have the best yield possible. We love making this content and would love your help with YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notifications button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next episode of Higher Education.